Most people love an adventure and what better way than to do it on a bike. Uh, so if you're someone that likes to go a bit further or get off the beaten track a little bit, then take a look at some of these epic adventures. The Tour Divide, if you really want to challenge yourself to the limits, this is a 2,696 mile race from basically the Canadian border down to the Mexican border, and this is a pretty wild one. In metric, it's 4,339 kilometers long, with a total descent of 45,600 meters, uh, which is obviously ridiculous. The highest point gets you up to 3,631 meters, and on average, it takes 37 days, but the record is 13 days and 22 hours. That's nearly 310 kilometers per day uh, for nearly two weeks. But if it's adventure you want, then this is pretty much the ultimate. Obviously, you're sleeping out in the woods or basically by the side of the trail. There's cougars, there's bears, there's snow, there's rain, there's thunderstorms, uh, and you're pretty much by yourself. The Tour Divide is completely unassisted. Yes, you have to look after yourself, so you can stop at shops along the way. And actually, many of the store owners know the races by name and by sight. And it's quite a thing in the year when the race comes through the town. Next up, we have one of the most desolate places on Earth, Iceland. Now, I went there with Cy Richardson just a couple of years ago where we did a pretty epic bikepacking trip, two days of uh, some big old river crossings. We got lucky with the weather. We didn't see much rain, but there was definitely some super cold times, a lot of wind, uh, and I was sheltering behind Cy for quite a long time. We've actually just seen Emily Batty do a ride, a bikepacking ride, looks super tough from east coast to west coast across some amazing terrain. Some of the pictures from her trip were absolutely incredible. I had a brilliant time when I went. We even finished it up with a, a trip to a hot spring, so a pretty epic adventure but uh, it's pretty wild out there, so definitely take a guide and keep an eye on the weather as well. You'll recognize quite a lot of Iceland from different films over the years. Things like Prometheus have been shot there. Uh, some amazing locations, but super isolated, so it's really important to take the uh, safety precautions that you need. There is actually pretty good signal almost all over the island for safety measures, but don't underestimate how dangerous it can be in Iceland. The Tour de Mont Blanc. Now this is a riding epic adventure doing a lap of the highest peak in Europe. If racing is the adventure you're after, but you don't want to skimp out on distance or views, then the Tour de Mont Blanc should be right up on your list. Steve Jones did do this one for EMBN, uh, I think it was last year, and it looks pretty incredible, but pretty grueling, especially with an e-bike, you're trying to clamber up some of those steep old slopes. Uh, but as I say, some absolutely breathtaking scenery, uh, through places like Chamonix, over into Switzerland and Italy, uh, you would see some of the best sights that the European Alps has to offer. This is a race that ex-Olympians and world champions set their sights on and should not be taken lightly. The Tour de Mont Blanc takes place over three days, but if you're not too fond of breaking yourself against the side of the famous Mont Blanc, you can just ride it at your own pace. The total distance is 174 kilometers and climbs over 8,000 meters in total. Next to South America and Patagonia. When you want an epic experience, but you don't fancy beating yourself down physically, now this might just be a great option for you. I went to Patagonia with Blake last year and I can completely recommend it. It was absolutely amazing. We based ourselves just outside the town of Koiheke and uh, spent three or four days riding in some absolutely epic locations, saw some of the best sites and some of the best trails of my life. The trip we did was definitely all about taking in some of the best riding. It wasn't about getting crazy and doing epic adventures. It was more about just having a great time and a great time we definitely had. The food was amazing, the trails sublime, and the location was just the cherry on top. It may not have the out and out adventures as some of them on the list, but it's definitely out there, pretty isolated, and you're away from a lot of humans, so what better place for epic bike adventure? There you go, there's just a few epic adventures hopefully to inspire you and get planning. Uh, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments down below. 
any places that you viewers have been that would uh, definitely recommend us going. There's still some places. I'd love to investigate a bit more of the European Alps, get up uh, away from the ski resorts, maybe try out some uh, refuges, do some uh, bike packing, but without the sort of slumming in a tent, get up in some amazing refuges up in the Alps. That'd be pretty amazing. Plus loads of places in North America I've not been to. Still Moab, uh, still pretty epic. Places up in Canada I've not been to. Uh, definitely need to investigate a bit more, but definitely recommend us some more down below for us and also for the rest of the GMBN community to check out. Thanks for watching. We've got uh, loads more videos coming up in Adventure Week. Plus, you can check out some of our Adventure Week themed t-shirts over in the store. Thanks very much.